good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Carr. I'm glad you're here today. Next Sunday, we start our Family Help Seminar with Dr. S.M. Davis. I want to encourage you to be here and bring somebody with you. And uh, for the 35 years that I've been pastor here, we've always tried to emphasize helping families. This morning, I have two friends who want to come and share with you some of their unique insights into marriage. Thanks, Pastor. Hi, I'm Kenny. And I'm Dominic. And marriage is something we're both super excited about and something we can add a lot of wisdom to, too. Isn't that right, Dominic? That's right. And we got some killer marriage tips here that'll knock your socks off. That's right. Let's get started. Perfect. Tip number one, finish your wife's sentences for her. It lets her know that you know where she's going with this particular thought or sentence. It says, I know you, I love you, and you're predictable, but in a good way. What do you want to do Dinner for tonight? I don't know. What do you want to do? Um, I could go for pretty much anything. Pretty much anything. Me too. We have a gift card to Red, Red Rob Robin. Red Robin. Get all the burgers there. <sighs> okay. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Kenny, you will not believe that. Your sister's getting married and wants me to do the wedding. Tip two. When you're on vacation, have fun, but make sure your wife knows how much this thing is costing. Absolutely. Now remember, having your wife feel guilt can actually be a good thing. Yeah, because guilt is actually an acronym for Good Financial Stewardship. No, it isn't. I'm pretty sure it is. No, it's not. It is. It's not even close. It is. No. It is. All right, I got the plane tickets. 500 bucks a piece, but I got them. Oh, so stupid. I can't believe it. 50 bucks for a tank of gas. That's as much as we pay for this car. Does it really matter? Of course. My mom called today. That was a fun conversation. I haven't talked to her for a while. Thank you. $75? Tip number three. It's important in an argument to take the time that your spouse is speaking to come up with what you want to say next. It goes like this. You speak, and then while she's talking, you think, and then you speak again. That's how the killer comes back happen. Oh, hey, I just remembered. We need to get an anniversary present for the cars. What do you want to get them? Well, it's a big anniversary, so I want to get a big gift. It's a big deal. The biggest thing we've got is your mouth. Too bad we can't give that to them. Tip number four. Surprise your wife with a weekend getaway for you and your buddies so that your wife can see that you're taking care of your needs. And by taking care of your needs, it helps give you the ability to take care of her needs. Hey, Savannah, I planned a quick road trip with Ian, so I'm going to be gone over the weekend, and I'll see you when I get back. To you. Hey. Putting your children in a timeout works most of the time. Tip number five, putting your spouse in a timeout can also be effective. It'll help her see things from a different perspective, preferably your own. Yeah, and if you get any pushback, I'd let her know you're starting to act like the children. <laughs> <laughs> Did you seriously spend $40 at Chick-fil-A today? Um, yeah, yeah, I was I can't believe it. That's it, you're in a timeout. <laughs> What? Come on, you're as bad as the kids sometimes. Come on, I can't you believe you would do that. Serious. Tip number six. When your wife comes to you and says she wants to buy something, make sure you respond with the sound of a cash register. Hey Dominic, head to the store. Need some new shoes and possible new dress. So just to let you know. Cha-ching. Tip number seven, always oh, be transparent no, stop, with your wife. Oh no, stop, stop. Your killer tips are gonna kill, kill a marriage. They are pretty horrible, <sighs> they're terrible. I think what we all need is to attend the family help seminar. Yes. Yes. Well, I think you're right. I know I'll be there January 6th through 8th. I'll be there, but I think first I need to go to the doctor. I think I ruptured something. You're fine. Ugh. Ooh, yeah, that last tip was pretty ugly. <laughs> 